Magandang araw mga kapatid. This is Pastor Don of Maranata Jesus is Coming International. Mga kapatid, what I would like to discuss with you today, the word of the Lord can be found in Genesis chapter 18, verse 13. And this is a question of God to Abraham. God was asking, but the Lord asked Abraham, why did Sarah laugh? Why did Sarah say, can I have a baby when I am old? Magkakaroon pa ba daw sa ng anak ngayon siya ay matanda na? But God said, Is there anything impossible for the Lord? At the appointed time, I will come back to you and in about a year, she will have a son. You see, God hates when people laugh. The only time we can move God is when we exercise our faith. The only time we can we can expect things to happen in our lives is when we exercise our full confidence to the living God. But of course, we have to understand the promise of a child at such an old age must have been staggering to Abram and Sarai because their name was Abram and Sarai before. But with the unfolding of his purposes, God in keeping with his character announces himself under a new name. God said in Genesis chapter 17 verse 1, I am, he says, I am the God Almighty, the El Shaddai. The meaning of the Hebrew is uncertain. Hindi pa rin nila matiyak ang ibig sabihin ng El Shaddai in Hebrew. But the title probably means that God, the mountain, ang Diyos, ang bundok, cannot be moved, conveying the thought of His strength and contrast to human frailty. God, the mountain, the traditional interpretation of the Hebrew name El Shaddai is God who is sufficient or God, the enough, God of more than enough. What a beautiful picture of our God, this presence of the infinite sources of the Almighty God. Isn't it positively exhilarating to know that God's eternal sufficiency so immeasurably surpasses every demand that we may make upon it? Kahit anong kailangan natin. Laging lalampas ang Diyos because the God that we serve is the El Shaddai, the God of more than enough. In an age when the world has to consider the possibility of running out of many of its resources, even in the Middle East, they were saying that the oil is running out and that's why they don't have any more exportable products. That's why in the Middle East, many, many OFWs are being losing their jobs and being sent back home because the oil is running out. But the God that we serve is more than enough. He is El Shaddai. The possibility of running out in the world is, does not, doesn't apply to El Shaddai, to the God of more than enough. Ano pa ang sabi ng Panginoon? Pwede natin magamit yon, Mga kapatid, we can ask God, we Christians need to fix our eyes upon God, upon Jesus, who created and designed the universe, the God who is more than enough. The interesting thing about the story of Abram and Zarai is that at this point in their lives, not only did God change his own name, but God changed the name of Abram, A-B-R-A-M, to Abraham, and Zarai to Zara. What was the difference? Why did he need to do that? God put an aspirate in their names. The sounds of H. Ha. H. Abraham and Zara. There is a sound. There's an air. The breath of life. The almighty. The Elsadai breath. His supernatural breath into them and signify that he the, he added an aspirate to their names. God has breathed the life into the name of Abraham and Sarah. The letter H cannot be pronounced 
without using the breath. Kung walang paghinga, hindi mo pwedeng mapronounce ang letter H. Try it and see. In most of the modern world, they pronounce, kasi sa Pilipinas, H eh. But in the modern world, in the modern how they pronounce now the children, in the in educational level, they say H, H, hospital, hospice, Abraham, and Zara. The great El Sadai is always ready to breathe into situations and circumstances where a miracle is required. So I am telling you, mga kapatid, today, whatever it is happening to you right now, I believe and declare, I believe that God is giving you the breath in your circumstances. Idinideklara ko sa araw na ito, mga kapatid, na numan ang pinagdaraanan mo, the El Sadai is giving you the life so that all dead, whatever it is, aspects of your life, God is going to bring them back to life. When He does, the word impossible becomes Him possible. What is not possible to us is indeed gloriously possible to the living God. So umasa ka mga kapatay, umasa ka na anuman ang iyong hinihingi ngayon, God is breathing the life into you. So that you will live in prosperity upang mabuhay ka na may kasaganaan. Mabuhay ka na may pagpupuri sa Diyos. And God will wait that that day will come and you will testify and glorify the, to the world that you have been granted and conferred a blessing from the great El Shaddai. Pagpalaan tayo ng Panginoon mga kapatid and God bless you. Bye-bye.